Hey, yo, crypto in health. You want to know how crypto is working in health? We come to you every day with juicy news on wealth, wellness, and well being. We're broadcasting to you live from 1.4 degrees south of the equator and 37 degrees east of the central meridian. I like to tell you we're right in the cryptographic middle of the world. You're with me, Scholastic Kamugi, and I'm coming to you at 1200 hours coordinated universal time UTC here on the Ubercan channel. You're just in time. And we're calling you as a new Argonaut for Africa to join us in steering the economies of Africa. We're guided by Anne-Lee Saxenian, who described in her book, The New Argonauts 2006, about the role of the diaspora who traveled to America and returned from Silicon Valley to their home countries to support new industries in semiconductor. Now, in your case, you don't have to travel back and forth like Saxenian described about the Argonauts of the 1990s and before. You let the information technology do the traveling for you through the internet and the blockchain economy, which is the Ubercoin. Now, this is why we're shilling UBN because we know it helps you solve two fundamental problems, your retirement funds and education for your offsprings. So guys, yesterday here in Kenya, we received 1,000 62 recoveries of COVID-19 and that's the highest number of recoveries in a single day which is really quite impressive and of course we cannot forget to thank God for his endless masses upon our lives however that does not give us the leeway to go about carelessly we still need to take uh protect ourselves and also ensure that we keep the self-discipline of washing our hands with soap and water, sanitizing with an alcohol-based sanitizer, we're donning our masks every time in public, and of course, observing social distancing is key in everything that we do. Now, having said that, I hope everyone is well, including Grace, Naomi, Shiko, Irene, Susan, Barbara, Abed, Evans, Betty, JJ, Jojo, David, Muturu, Miss Kindness, Wachari Productions, Madam Beatrice, Morango, Joseph, Seattle, Dr. Steven, Karanja, Mr. Mbuga, Kimani, Kimani, Kamau, Iglantin, Lonperia, Romario, Producer Purity, Tom, Pinch254, Samuel Gatua, Brand Rakoi, Ian Mangi, Jacob Yator, Arche Limo, Eunice, uh, Paul Jiroge, Jane Nelson, The Prince, Teresa, Justin, Mohamed Ali, Global Trader, Ruth Owino, Jen Gashugu, Irene Ketton, Engineer Masinga, The Comical Canadian, Mark Waweru, Steven Opanga, Raja Usman, Veronica Mangi, Justice Kimeli, Chiza Charles Kerr, uh, Washira SM Pwani, Jane Washira, Lynn Washira, David Ogutu, Bishop Mackenzie, Isaac Kithua, Miriam Flower, Moses, Mr. Mbudia, Pastor Zippy, Jessica Daniel, John, Steve Nyabuto, Alpha Nyota, Jason Gore, Wanjiko Kinuthia, Ibrahim Gitao, uh, Felix, Sherry, Shali, Fred, George, Odu, wherever you are, continue being safe. And of course, thank you so much for your support at all times. Now, let's get inspired. And today, we're looking at Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 fear not for i am with you be not dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you i will help you i will up uphold you with my righteous right hand amen and amen indeed we need that conviction uh even as we begin off this brand new week now on our covid 19 time we revisit epidemic uh, and pen pandemic. Next on our crypto news segment, we talk about blockchain fighting crime. And next on, and for finally on Ubrika today, we're looking at a breakthrough technology that you definitely need to have. So let's start with an epidemic, which is a rapid spread of, of disease to a large number of people in a given population within a short period of time. So now on the other hand, a pandemic is an epidemic occurring worldwide and over a very wide, wide area, crossing international boundaries and usually affecting a large number of people. So when you're defining a pandemic, I think it's really important for you to start with that, an epidemic because a pandemic is an epidemic, according to World Health Organization, WHO. And we're saying that now an epidemic is a rapid spread the rapid spread of a disease such as COVID-19 to a large number of people in a given population. Now, which then 
moves on to that level of a pandemic where it's occurring worldwide. So we have seen that COVID-19 pandemic has spread to so many countries and that is why we need to continue being uh, taking care of ourselves every time and even as other people are already moving on, uh, moving to other countries and going back home, we still need to really take care of ourselves. And having said that, this afternoon we have received uh, the current COVID-19 status here in Kenya from our Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe, who has now said that the number of tested people is at 358,330. And out of that, 492 more patients have tested positive from 4,603 samples over the last 24 hours, which brings uh, the total number to 26,928. Then we have received three more patients having died to uh, in the last 24 hours, and that raises the death toll to 423. The good news is, we have received another 534 new recoveries in, in the last 24 hours. And so our numbers of recovery now have increased to 13,495. So we can see what is happening, guys. We need to keep taking charge and being in control of every situation. And of course, self-discipline being the key. Having said that, we can now cross over to a crypto news segment. We're looking at news on Coin Telegraph by Marie Juliet. China, which headlines China, Lodi City Mayor promotes blockchain to fight crime. Now, the mayor of Lodi, a city in China's Hunan province has characterized blockchain technology as a powerful weapon that can effectively tackle crime. At a meeting of Lodi's Municipal Public Security Bureau on August 10th, Mayor Yang Yiwen responded to reports on the progress of a trial blockchain project that is currently being conducted by the Bureau and a local technology firm. The project combines blockchain technology with multi-party computing and big data to improve trusted data exchange and information traceability across a collaborative network. Now, this network unites telecommunication network operators, uh, banks, and public data from various municipal departments such as water and electricity. Now at the meeting, officials from the Municipal Public Security Bureau reported on the trial's progress with a focus on the potential of the blockchain powered system to crack down on illicit activities. And of course, in the tech firm Hunan Chain City Digital Technology um, Limited reported on the project's design concept and related issues and also provided demonstration of the system in prototype. So we're looking at blockchain being used as a weapon to effectively combat crime. And this could only tell you that, especially, particularly in China, China's blockchain is definitely booming every day. The blockchain sector is going higher and higher. And of course, in the recent days, we have seen um, a great number, a good number of blockchain startups being launched each and every single uh, day. So that is what is happening to this technology. And that is why we keep on telling you that we are concentrating on this technology here in Ubrica also to be the best that we can be because this technology is definitely what is helping our Ubrica in your health crypto to be wherever it is even currently. So I'm looking to start with, I'm looking at a bullish UBN currently. Um, um, we had seen some prices are uh, not so good uh, in the early afternoon, but now the prices coming back and it's falling back to shape. And we know that whatever action you're going to be taking in the marketplace is definitely going to make a big boost in this uh, increasing the price of Ubricoin as well as the 24 hour trading volume. Now, having said that guys, today on Ubrica today, we are also continuing with yesterday's conversation that we began, that we are addressing uh, the seven questions that we keep addressing as Ubrica to achieve greater success. 
for the Ubricoin, definitely. And we looked at these seven questions that were brought to us by Peter Thiel, the German-American billionaire, entrepreneur, and venture capitalist in his book, Zero to One. So today we want to tackle the first question, which is an uh, engineering question. And this engineering question, uh, it asks, can you, create a, uh, can you create breakthrough technology instead of incremental improvements? Now, how we're looking at this question is that we're looking at the idea of blockchain technology, a breakthrough technology ladder, rather, for you as an entrepreneur and a professional. And we have been having great insights. We have been looking at great scholars such as uh, economist George Gilder in his book, Knowledge and Power, so that we can know exactly how to be able to tackle and to bring you this great breakthrough technology, to bring it to you as an entrepreneur. And I just want to look at what uh, just uh, a snippet of what George Gilder addresses in one of the chapters, the chapters known as the power of giving. And let me just read for you some small bit of it. Under capitalism, economic power flows not to the intellectual who manipulates ideas and basks in their light, but to the man who gives himself to his ideas and tests them with his own wealth and work. And these often self-denying explorers beyond the bounds of the existing marketplace and its invest, uh, inventories, not some mechanism of exchange, extend the frontiers of human possibility. And so what George Gilder refers to self-denying explorers are you and me, the people who you want to give yourself, uh, you give yourself to your ideas and test them with your own wealth and work. So these are the self-denying explorers that we are looking at. And of course, we have seen that decentralized money is going to turn around how business we conduct businesses. And having said that, in this case, I want to also focus on the capitalism that George Gilder has referred to. And in this case, capitalism being the economic uh, economic system, which a country's trade or industry is controlled by the private um, owners for profit rather than by, by state, then it means that we're looking at you as a market trader out there, how you conduct your businesses each and every single day. And even continuing to that chapter, we're looking at other great uh, people, the economists such as the economist Jay Forrester, one of the pioneering uh, economic economic modelers of cities and worlds who observed that all libraries of certified knowledge miss the fatal cerebrations, the ebullitions of mind that make an economic uh, an economy work. Now, we're looking at entrepreneur heads and hands hold an astronomical amount of technical information, skills, intuitions, habits, and practical experience that are often ineff ineffable and unintelligible to anyone who has not pursued the same experimental course. And this is what the chemist philosopher Michael Polanyi called tacit tacit knowing and in this case tacit knowing is first of all it's the knowledge gained from personal experiences that is more difficult to express as jay forrester uh, explained so you only have to get it with the if you haven't pursued the same experimental course then you cannot understand this particular uh, knowledge that we're referring to as tacit knowledge so the reason for this we're looking at how we can have a breakthrough technology that is going to help you as an entrepreneur, you as a professional who is out there to be able to better your business and to make sure that you do not keep on relying on the state for funds. And of course, we have seen what the state does as Gilda says, um, the greatest deal of it is deflation of capitalism capitalist energy, the repression of new entrepreneurial ideas, and the stultification of a world. So we're looking at breakthrough technology that 
allows you does not suppress your entrepreneurial idea but rather it supports that idea and you're able to begin afresh so that is why we work on ubricoin because we believe that ubricoin is a breakthrough technology guys as we have seen and because we know that ubricoin has the ability for for you to gain it can be used as a past value, as a present value, and as a future value. And how we look at it is that now we're going even deeper with mastering the Ethereum network, because as you know, we are based on the block on the Ethereum blockchain. And why we think Ethereum is so powerful, is a great powerful technology, is because first of all, the first thing is that Ethereum is the most suitable technology to create past value. And this is where people buy things from one another. So that's the past value that we refer to. The second thing is that Ethereum is also most potent for creating present value in the exchanges. And by this is exactly what we are currently working on with the Ubercoin, and that's its, its present value. And we have seen that Ethereum has attracted the biggest user base in that people are able to contribute their innovative methods of trading. And this is currently what we're working on, guys. And dubs such as UBN uh, are definitely gaining popularity by the day. And every day, we're moving closer to having a lot of mass crypto adoption. So the final thing about Ethereum and the reasons why we want to delve deeper into this particular network is because uh, of the future value of money. It helps in creating the future value of money. And by this, we have been talking about decentralized finance, that's the DeFi. And of course, we're looking at a future of lending and borrowing money from each other through now the decentralized finance. So Ethereum network is really, really amazing. And we know that once we master it completely, then we are looking at a very bright future for the Ubercoin. So guys, that's really amazing. I know that's heavy duty. Uh, but of course, the focus here is that we understand deeper why we're based on the, on the Ethereum blockchain. And of course, why blockchain technology is such a revolution. Uh, it's definitely going to revolutionize so many industries. And particularly you who is in the marketplace, we're looking at you and we're saying that Ubercoin has the capacity to even boost what you're doing further and we're gonna see that in the coming days because we have seen that fiat money is not sufficient every day we look at fiat money going down and of course in the coming years you want to be in this space where we're talking about cryptos and where you know how to operate and work with cryptos such as ubercoin because that's where the wealth the wellness and the well-being lies in having said that guys i can now finally uh, end the show with a market overview of what is happening currently on our exchanges and we're looking at ubn ETH on phoenix box exchange leading today there's also ubn doge ubn btc ubn usdt in that order on phoenix box that is exactly what is happening and we want to see more action taking place of course the 69,787 of us are in a capacity to be able to continue boosting the price for the Ubercoin, as well as inviting our friends our relatives our enemies to come and join us so that we can take ubn to the next big level having said that i can now wrap up the show let me love you and leave you with a quote and today we're looking at a quote from the philosopher socrates who says the secret of change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old but on building the new let me repeat the secret of change is to focus all of your energy not in fighting the old but on building the new i have been your girl scholastica muki and until tomorrow it is goodbye for now Ciao.